It's boys and welcome back to the channel. Here we have a brand new video today. It's another managerial challenge. It's Jose Mourinho at Roma. Let's go. Hello and welcome back. It's another day and it's another manager special on the channel. Today we will be following Jose Mourinho, the special one, the one that is acclaimed to winning things when he goes to clubs, although as of late he's maybe not lived up to that as much as he's supposed to be. So this is his profile, we have moved him into Roma for his first year and we're going to see what he can accomplish. So stats are pretty pretty damn good, as close to you get, the only thing he's really lacking is that man motive, man management, sorry. Um, it's something that he needs to work, work on, clearly, um, at 57 years old. He needs to get his game up on that one. Uh, 50 motivating, 20 adaptability, 19 determination, 18 level of discipline, 18 ability to judge players. Insane. Insane. In 18 technical knowledge. He likes... We all know he likes to play that sort of counter-attack, sit behind, park the bus football, but how will that hold up at AS Roma? Let's jump into this and let's find out. It's, it's back. The, the summer transfers is over. We've got one incoming. It's Jao Pedro from Cagliari for 11.5 million. Let's take a look at him. The Brazilian 28-year-old striker coming in with 13 base and... 15 finishing. Will he deliver for Roma? We're going to have to find out on that one. Outgoings, there's only two. Diawara to Tottenham. Roma. Mr. Mourinho doing Roma a favour by getting rid of him, but sending him on loan to Tottenham, his old club. Something dodgy seems to be going on there. And then we also have Federico Fazio going out on loan to Wolves. Uh, Funny one because he's not Portuguese, so I don't understand that move at all. But there you have it. Now, if we have a look at competition wise, what has been going on here? Three games played, nine points for Roma. This is our Euro Cup group. We have Genk, EAK, and Dinamo Tbilisi. Okay. And Roma still to enter the Italian Cup. Let's have a look at the tactic that has been deployed here. I think it said it was a well, it's a 4-2-3-1 he's playing here. No, no, I don't think this is the most defensive tactic at all. This one's actually taken me a little bit by surprise. Mkhitaryan, Dzeko, El Shrawi, Pedro, Pellegrini, Vertu, Spinozola, Smalling, Mancini, Carlos Drop, and Marante. I think Jose Mourinho should have the capabilities here and the team to do very well in this league. But we're going to have to wait and find out how he does. Now, as always, we will come back at the end of the winter transfer and see how he's done. So we'll catch you back there in approximately two seconds for you guys. Let's get into it. We're back and we have two new signings. We have Marco Dmitrovic from IBA and Leonardo Macchi from Pisa. Um, anything going out, we have two. We have Antonio Morante going out in December and Eduardo Bove uh, going the opposite way with uh, Macchi in the player exchange. So going to Pisa. Um, so now we need to take a look at where they are in the league. So we'll go overview, competition and senior squad. Come on. There we go. We are currently fourth in the Serie A here. 11 games won after 20 played. Six draws and three losses. 10 points behind Juve. So, I mean, they're not doing terrible um, behind Inter and Napoli, only two points behind Napoli here and six points behind Inter. And they were knocked out in the quarterfinals by Inter in the Italian Cup. The Euro Cup, they are in the first round knockout against Borussia Mönchengladbach later this seat, well, this month. Let's have a look at the, the fixture list while we go here. So, do they win all their group games? They draw one group game against EAK. Beating Ghent, beating Dynamo twice, a 7 0 victory at home, that is huge. Smash Ghent at home and EAK away. A draw with Napoli, a draw with Sassolo, so they're losing to Udinese and Lazio and Bologna. So they're actually dropping points to some of the, 
not smaller teams, but some of the teams that they should be beating. And when they're coming up against Napoli, they're drawing at Atalanta as a team I'd expect them to do, to maybe take points off. They're beating them. They're beating it Inter 2 1 earlier on in the season. So there is still a chance for them to come out, come and do better. As we said, they do lose 2 0 in the quarter final in the Italian Cup. Um, they do have some stuff still to come with the European Cup uh, knockout, see how far they can go in that. I would like to see Mourinho potentially take them on a, a nice little cup run in there. Um, and the first time against Zebra there. Although, have they played Juve already? I didn't see a game against Juve, but maybe I was just being blind. Um, but I, I, didn't, I don't think I did. Is that the first time they played them? Zebra? Zebra, yes, it is the first time they played them. So we will come back at the end of the season and see how they've done. And we'll also bring up the real life finishing for them and see how that compares against each other so we'll be back in a second okay so we are back at the end of the season here you can see how the season finished up a fifth place finish for Roma compared to seventh in real life so Jose Menino has done slightly better than them in this season it's a t total gain points of eight um, Roma finishing in the game on 70 points and in real life finishing on 62 just qualifying for the Europa Conference League, whereas this time they are qualifying for the European Cup. Um, we've seen the knockout from the Italian Cup and we have been knocked out in the Euro Cup by Lazio in the quarterfinals as well. They actually finish one point below in the league, so a little bit there. Let's, if we just have a look at the tactic before we, before we finish this off, this is still how they played in the 4-2-3-1 the most of the season. Best player with average rating was Vertu, down to Zeko, Steven and Zonzi, Florenzi, Mkhitaryan, Koric, El Shirawi and Rob Olsen. Not a whole lot to say here without looking at the schedule. Went an absolutely terrible run here in the last couple of months from April into May. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven losses is very disappointing for them. How did they do in that first game against Juve? Have I missed it? Zebra, they beat 3-1 there and then they get beat 3-0 in the next game as well. A 2-0 loss to Lazio, 3-2 to Fiorentina, 1-0 to Parma, 2-1 to Sassoluso, 1-0 to Napoli. Yeah, some really bad results in there. Some really bad. They do get past the Borussia Mönchengladbach test, but they, that is a... I would say, in my opinion, at least, that is a disappointing season. Despite doing better in the league than in real life, they do worse in the Europa, Europa League. And I just don't know if that's a good enough finish for them. But it's not up for me to decide they finish better in the season, I suppose. So that will conclude Jose Mourinho at Roma. In, in, in slight summary, he's not going to make a difference, basically. He's going to basically have the same season and not overachieving, not underachieving any part. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.